everybody, I'm John Granato. That's Lance Zerline. You can hear us mornings on ESPN 97.5 and 92.5. Hit subscribe if you haven't yet so you get all of our content on Sports Map H-O-U. Lance, they didn't look good, the defense for the Texans against the, the Dolphins. It looked a lot like last year. It looked, it looked a lot like the last few years. Is that what we're going to see, or are we going to see what we saw against the Patriots? Is it somewhere in between? Yeah. What's your level of concern? <clears throat> Uh, my level of concern isn't that high. Just, you know, I'm just a little bit of disappointment because I was hoping we would see the same, you know, the same thing throughout the preseason and, and really have some hope that the Texans might be able to be a, a top 12 to 14 defense. Mm. That'd be a huge, huge step. Probably not very realist, realistic. I think you do have the goal for top half of the league, but even that may not be realistic, honestly. When your when your defense just is, has so many holes in it, where the Texans have had, it's, Rome isn't built in a day, so it's probably going to take longer to fix. You know, I, I we, they ran all over them. It was ugly, like it's been. But they're better defense. They've got better defenders. They've got inside. They're better with with Ridgeway and Rankins, and outside they're better with Anderson. And I mean, it just seems like it, it, Grenard wasn't there before. It just seems like they should just be better. They should be better with Perriman. They should just be better. Now, they didn't game plan. So I, I got to believe when they game plan and with D'Amico's mind, defensive mind, that they're going to be better, that this isn't what we're going to see again. Well, I, I think it will be, yeah, it'll be better, but you're going to have some bad games. There's, there's going to be some games where your defense just doesn't play well, more than likely. I mean, I don't think you're going to go from being – a porous defense to a defense that's stout in one year. So I think that even if it is better, which I agree with you, it's going to be better. But even if it's better, I still think that we have to be prepared for some some stinkers from time to time. Yeah, and they had a stinker, that's for sure. We'll talk about the offense and specifically CJ in just a second. But first, I want to talk about cold, clean, crisp, refreshing course life. It is the world's most refreshing beer. Are you keeping Texas chill? Are you doing your part? Because it's hot out. It's still hot out there. And you got to be chill. And I am chill. I'm doing my part. I need you to do your part. I want you to drink cold, clean, crisp, refreshing course life and be refreshed and be chill. No matter what you're doing, it is always better when you've got a clean, crisp, refreshing Coors Light in your hand. Climb on, brother. I, I had Coors Lights and I was watching the Texans. It was better. It didn't Don't, help. It was them. better. Oh, it didn't, help, it didn't okay. help all the way watching that game. But I will say this. It was better watching CJ this week than it was the week before. Yeah, with or without drinks in your hand. So I think this is what it's going to be, too, because they got down – now, they, again, they weren't the game plan and the play calling. Bobby Slowick was very vanilla. He ran a couple of plays. It was, it was not good. Uh, C.J. looked bad throwing the ball in a in tight area, but he sure did look good on the next drive. Really, really good. Now, is this what we're going to see out of C.J.? Is he going to be – it's going to be, oh, wow, he looks good, but then he's going to look like a rookie again. Yeah, uh, I think that's probably more like what you're going to see in the first half of the year. My guess is that we're going to have two C.J. Strouds there's the first eight games of the year, and then there's the second nine games of the year. I think we'll see that growth transpire more consistently over the second half of the season where some things maybe happen from game to game that are more consistent. But I think we're going to see a lot of ups and downs. Um, it, I don't, it won't be as bad as like Justin Fields' first year because the, the offensive line was just so bad. And the Texans mm -hmm. have a running game. They've got an offensive line that should protect better uh, when they're fully functional and fully healthy. So – I think there'll be some ups and downs, but I, I liked what I saw Saturday. He he was able to, when the throw was there, he made the throw accurately on time, and I think that's who he is, so it's not a big surprise. It's, um, I think, finding what he does for Bobby Slowick well and, and really staying away from the things where he's going to struggle a little bit as a rookie, that's going to be the key is going to be how does Bobby Slowick manage the strengths and weaknesses of C.J. Stroud? Well, I will say this. Uh, um, if you're not going to play Tunsil and Fant and the offensive in green and, 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 and Scruggs, and if you're not going to play those guys, then don't play C.J. in the mm -hmm. final game. Does C.J. need to be out there with the with – the, and if he is going to be out there, he needs the first-team offensive line out there. But it, does he need to play in this game to get ready for Baltimore? I'd like for him to. I think he could use another game, let's be honest. I think, you know, it used to be three games out of the four games your, your quarterback would play. What's changed? I think he still needs three games. I'd like to see him play at least the first quarter. Yeah, 
I, I don't know that there will, and I don't know that Tunsil and those guys are going to play in this game. And if they're not, I would rather him not play if you want to know the truth. I don't want Deculus blocking for C.J. Stroud. I just, I'd, I've seen that already, and I don't, I don't think I ever want to see that again, to tell you the <laughs> truth. So if, if you're not going to play your first-team offensive line, if you think that they need a rest and, and, and they're ready, then don't play C.J. Put, put Davis out there. Davis needs to be out there. Go get him, Davis.